Hey, Bentley and friends, a cancer diagnosis in your pet can be absolutely devastating, especially because they're not able to tell us they're sick. Fortunately, veterinary oncology has been taking leaps and bounds in improving the prognosis of animals diagnosed with cancer. Tim Pandages talked to Dr. William Brewer at Blue Pearl in Chesapeake about these types of diagnoses. The two things you want to know is you want to know what it is and where it is and then you can make a better plan as to what you have to do for treatment. What is the plan of attack after a suspicion of cancer in your animal? A complete physical exam to look at them, perhaps radiographs to look in the lungs to see if it's spread or not, abdominal ultrasounds sometimes to see if it's spread there, and all this kind of depends on the tumor type. And then a biopsy or a sampling of the tumor so you know what type it is. And then you can predict what it's gonna do, what, and what treatments we have that may or may not alter that course. Dr. Brewer says that cancer in animals is becoming increasingly more common, and he attributes this to simply dogs living longer than they used to due to better veterinary care. Melanoma is one of the most common found in dogs. Recently, huge progress has been made in their treatment. It used to be that all we had was cutting them out. We tried many different drugs on them and we didn't do very well. Now Dr. Brewer tells us there's a vaccine for melanoma that increases the survival rate. It's taken a median survival with surgery alone of four months to a median survival of 18 months with these tumors. So, I mean, that's kind of nice. It's, it's a vaccine, so it's sort of, you know, we don't see any ill effects with it like you think about chemotherapy. The vaccine also means lower effects in your dog, different from chemotherapy. Now, no case is exactly like any other dog because each dog is unique. Treatments are determined case by case, and Dr. Brewer also tells us there are many more treatments in the pipeline that are very promising. If there's a story you want us to look into, reach out on social media or send us an email.